Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, malapit na naman ulit ang November and people are celebrating the Halloween and um, daming concepts. They are, uh, they want to, what's this, to feed in our mind. But this morning, I'd like to share you beyond the grave. Really, what is beyond the grave? I have a lot of experience when I was young. And even nung mga bago ako dito sa, dito sa Pasig, uh, mayroong kaming Bible study. And yung Bible study na yan, mayroong kuya yon na, na dyan sa daanan namin, dyan sa my chapel, yung daanan na yan, dyan siya palagi every time we, we went to their house for a Bible study, nandoon yung kuya na yun nakaupo. <laughs> And these are uh, invisible things that, that we cannot really explain very well. But we will see what the Bible is saying. And so what happened was, yung kuya na yon, nasa 2 o'clock pa lang, they called us na namatay na si kuya doon sa St. Luke's. So yun lang kampante kami ni Pastor. And then, so uh, we, we go to their house for a Bible study. And then... <laughs> Pagka 5 o'clock in the afternoon, 5 o'clock na ng hapon, kasi nakikita nga namin siya doon araw-araw. Nakita namin siya doon nakaupo. Naintindihan niyo ba? 2 o'clock, tumawag sa amin na namatay na siya, yung kuya. Pero nung 5 o'clock in the afternoon, medyo paggabi na, mga magsi-6, medyo madilim na. Nakita namin siya, nakaupo lang din doon sa inuupuan niya everyday. And then, nung lumampas sa kami ni Pastor Chai, hindi namin siya ginrit. Nung lumampas sa kami, sabi, Ba, di ba tumawag kanina yung family na namatay na yung si Kuya? Eh, ba't siya nandoon? <laughs> Sorry. Diba? Those are unexplainable things. Then, when I was a young girl, I, it was by grade 3. Nung grade 1 ako, mayroon doong... Um, Mayroon doon sa lugar namin na pinatay siya. Yung ano yun eh, yung taong lasing. Dahil dumaan lang yung tao na yun. Tapos uh, pinatay siya doon sa lugar na yun mismo. And I was grade 3. Uh, yung tatay namin kasi mayroon kaming farm. So ang yung, yung mga corn, yung mga mais, dinala doon sa lugar namin. Tapos doon namin, uh, sinasabi lang pinapadpad yung tinatanggal sa ano niya. It was already 11 midnight. And doon may kasin, lumabas siya. Sabi niya, Tito, Tito, huli ka. Sabi niya sa tatay ko, Uncle, huli ka. Tingnan mo nga yung sa labas. Sabi niya, ano ba yun? Uncle, bakit lang tumatalon na plato ng, ng ano? Ng, <laughs> tumatalon na yung plato na, na apoy? Sabi ni tatay, ay, ano yan? Santil mo yan? Sabi niya. So, nakita ko talaga with my bare eyes when I was grade 3. And so, sabi namin, di ba sa science, mayroon naman talaga yan, explanation. Pero doon mismo yun sa site kung saan namatay yung tao, may possibility na yun. Pero yun talaga, dumadaan doon, pa uwi doon sa bahay niya, yung, yung ano na yun, yung parang plato na apoy na tumatalon talon santil mo yun, ba sa explanation nila. But those are things that cannot be explained by hindi natin naintindihan masyado. But the Bible, we will see what is really beyond the grave. What is, what does the Bible says about what is beyond the grave? In this uh, time, November, and dami nilang celebration, and tinatako tayo ng multo, ng kung ano-ano, ng mga ideas. Pero nakalimutan nga nila that, that uh, in the Halloween time, we should celebrate also mga angels, the ba? When Jesus died, dun sa cross sa Calvary, and when He was born, may mga angels. Pero hindi yan na-portray, di ba? Puro lang multo, puro lang kung ano-ano ang napoportray, di ba? But the Bible, let's open our Bible to Luke chapter 16, verses 19 to 31. It is a parable. Okay, basahin po natin. Please open your Bible to Luke chapter 16, verses 19 to 31. Okay, babasahin ko po. This is very important. And so you follow me. You open it, chapter 16, from 19 to 31. Let's read. There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and lived in luxury every day. At his gate was laid a beggar named Lazarus covered with sores. And longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table, even the dogs came and licked his sores. 
The time came when the beggar died, and the angels carried him to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried. In hell, he was in torment. He looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. So he called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue because I am in agony in this fire. But Abraham replied, Son, remember that in your lifetime you receive your good things, while Lazarus received bad things, but now he is comforted here and you are in agony. And beside all this, and beside all, all this, between us and you a great chasm has been fixed, so that those who want to go from here to, to you cannot, nor anyone cross over from, from there to us. He answered, Then I beg you, Father, send Lazarus to my father's house, for I have five brothers, for I have five brothers. Let him warn them so that they will not also come to this place of torment. Abraham replied, They have a, they have Moses and the prophets, let them listen to them. No, Father Abraham, he said, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. He said to him, if they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be convinced even if someone rises from the dead. Okay, this is a parable. And so the, the idea here is not that all the poor man or poor people will go to heaven and all the rich man will go to hell. It is not the interpretation here. There are only the truth that Jesus present here is there is really life beyond the grave and there is your destined there are two destination after death amen and so you can see here that there is Jesus is giving the idea the truth that there is the bosom of Abraham which is the Bible says that in uh, in in Luke 23 41 to 43 and even Revelations 2 17 sabi ni Jesus Okay, I'd like to read that because it's very important. Okay, let's read Luke 23. Ano sinasabi ng Luke 23, 41-43? Okay, the Bible says, We are punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you, when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, today you will be with me in paradise. So there is, the, the Bible saying is, in uh, Revelations 1.18, Jesus said, I am the living one, behold, I was dead, but now I am alive forever and ever, and I hold the kiss of death and Hades. Nabasa nyo na ba yung Revelations 1.18? And so we can see here that, may dalawa pong destination. Sa buhay na ito. I, I told you before that Pastor Charlie experienced he died already, he left his body, and then he saw everything there. So hindi, hindi, hindi talaga totoo na after, you die, after your body died, wala na. No, we are a spirit who lives in the body, and our spirit is eternal. Only our body is, our physical body will die, but your spirit will not die. That is the truth. So, si Jesus is giving my dalawang truth that there is two destination when you die. And so, what, what is their experience? The poor man, Lazarus, he experienced, he was comforted and there was a joy because Jesus promised to that, yung, dalaw, yung dalawang magnanakaw na, na, na kung ano-anong sinasabi kay Jesus yung isa, Yes, kung totoo kang anak ng Diyos, isal, isalba mo sarili mo. Diba? Yung isa. Pero sa kabila, nagsabi, hindi. He, he, we, are, we are punished justly, but that one, this man, he, done, he does not do anything wrong, but and yet he died. And so, ano sabi niya? Sabi ni Jesus, the promise, today you will be with me in paradise. The Bible is saying about paradise, we can see that also in um, uh, Revelations 2.7. There is really a paradise. Amen? I, I've talked to somebody who, who already, uh, namatay na siya. In fact, he was, he received, nagka-accidente siya and he died. He said, 
he is an evangelist and he died and then dahil it was a miracle na nabuhay siya but he said you know pastora i really experienced now i do not fear death why noong i experienced death nakabalik ako sa katawan ko ah i really heard something that is beyond human comprehension and when you hear that there was really that great joy in your heart that cannot be explained and cannot even be satisfied by the, the things of this world yun lang talaga kakaiba in in fact um si si, ano, si paul he said in second corinthians uh, 12 4 he said there is the third heaven the paradise the third heaven he said it's the the things there are are beyond explanation in with human words but there is really that paradise jesus promised to that man today you will be with me in paradise and so that is the the first thing that jesus is saying here in the parable that there is really life after that there is really life after there is life beyond the grave it is not those uh, gina portray sa atin na yung katawan mo babangon and then magiging multo ka. No, it's not like that. But there is the promise. Yes, we know that that there is a promise of resurrection that is written in First Thessalonians 4:13 to 18. You can see that there will be a resurrection from the dead. In a twinkling of an eye, we shall all be changed. Second, First Corinthians 15 says. But the truth here that there is really two destination in paradise and in hell what is the experience in paradise there is joy there is comfort and the bible is saying that it, the bible is not a bible lang yan no the scripture is true why you can see daw in the book of revelations yung mga sinasabi nilang uh, my, microchips and all these chips diba revelations 2000 years ago he already said that the book of Revelation chapter 13 says that there will be a planted mga chips sa katawan it only in the in the forehead and in the right kasi nga nung study pala nila sa science is eto lang din pala hindi na kung dito mo iba on at dito sa right hindi mo na kailangan i-charge yung battery kasi bubuhay palagi and there are, there are study prove that, but the Bible says it already more than 2,000 years ago. Wala pa tong mga new discovery na sabi na ng Bible. So we cannot, hindi mo pwede, ay hindi yan totoo, sabi lang na, no. The scripture is true, amen? And sabi ni Jesus, there is two destination. The poor man was comforted in the bosom of Abraham. It is the Bible, Jesus said, it is in paradise. And the other one, he was tormented. They're in hell. Ano sabi niya? The Bible is saying in Matthew 8, chapter 12, Matthew 13, 42, Matthew 13, 50, sabi, and, the, and, and throw them into the fairy furnace where, where there will be gnashing, uh, where, where, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew 25, 41 says, and the lot of the wicked is the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. And Revelations 20, verse 10 gives the prophecy. And the devil who deceives many was thrown into the burning sulfur, into the lake of fire where the beast and the false prophet had been thrown. So there is really hell. This is not a biro. Because all the, the experience was torment. And yet in paradise, there was joy. Amen? There was comfort. So dalawa talaga ang destination ng mga tao. And so, Jesus promised in John 14, 2, I will go and prepare a place for you. Jesus Christ is the only hope of this world. He is the only one, the firstborn among the dead. He was dead, but on the third day, he arose again from the dead. He was dead because he was buried. The witnesses, they, he was really buried. And there was his, the site of his burial place. Still, they discover it. Nandun po si Israel, makakapunta ka. Nandun yung burial site. And nandun din yung resurrection site. Amen? So, sabi ni Jesus ganito. Romans 8.29 says, For those, for those God foreknew, He also predestined to be 
conform to the likeness of his son that he might be the firstborn among my many brothers. Colossians 1.18 says, And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning of the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. Revelations 1.5 says, And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sin by his blood. Amen. We see that Jesus Christ is the firstborn among the dead. And he is the only hope we have beyond the grave. Amen. Jesus Christ, the only hope beyond the grave. Yes, people fear death. And all those gina describe sa atin, magmumwaging multo ka, mag, yes, totoo po yan, dahil Satan can do that. Demons can do that. But the truth is, when you are in Christ. I, I witness, I have, as a pastor, I remember when I was an intern, there were 11 members of the church died. <laughs> Katawa yung internship ko. Sabi namin ng, ng aking senior pastor, sabi niya, kasi alam mo naman sa probinsya, tag, tag 14 nights yung, ano, 14 nights, unlike dito sa Manila, ba? ilang araw lang yung pag vigil doon. 14 nights, tagal. Then we, we, oh, we, we have services every night. And then we have this necrological service. Pagkatapos, kapagod talaga, pagod na pagod kami. And then sabi namin, sabi ni Pastor, sana wala na, may, may, may kakatok na naman sa pastor, namatay. Anak ko, ano na naman, start na naman ng ano. But you know, I witnessed people who died, those who are in Christ Jesus. They just, as if they just fall asleep. Sabi naman ni Jesus eh, sa, sa, sa 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13, 18 eh, yung mga believers of Jesus Christ, those who receive Him as their Lord and Savior, they just fall asleep. Yun lang description ni Jesus. Tatutulog lang. Amen? Waiting for the day of resurrection. But, I witness people who are not in Christ when they died. Ah! Lahat na mura, lumabas na, para na silang nilalagay sa mainit. Iba talaga. Because truly, there is really two destinations of this life beyond the grave. Whether you are in paradise, in Christ Jesus, or you will, be, you will go to hell in torment. Who are those people who will go to hell? Those who will not receive those who will not receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior, the wicked, Jesus said. There, their lot of the wicked is the eternal fire prepared for the devil. And saying, those who does not, those who reject the Lord Jesus Christ, those who does not like him, that is their destiny. But those who believe in him, those who receive him, to them he gave the power to become children of God. Romans 6, 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. In fact, the, the rich man continue his, uh, his uh, tawag dito, his um, talk to Abraham in the, in the tawag dito, in the parable. Sabi niya, Father Abraham, mas okay pag ipadala mo ulit si Lazaro doon. Kasi sabi niya, please, dalin mo si Lazaro dito. Kasi kahit it dip na lang niya yung tip over his finger, eh, punong-puno ng source yun si Lazaro doon sa earth. Ah. Sabi niya, payag na lang siya yung kamay ni Lazaro, lagay doon sa tip of his finger. Ay sobrang init, in torment. Yan po ang katotohanan. Sabi niya, kung, ay, kung hindi pwede, sa, uh, the, 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 another truth is, there was that fixed chasm. Yung taga doon sa paradise, hindi pwedeng tumawid doon sa, sa hell. At yung nandoon sa hell, hindi rin pwedeng tumawid doon sa kabila. There was a story, I, I watched that, ano, may, na, may napanood akong cartoon movie. It's about in music. Ang kanilang idea is, Pag wala na daw mag-remember sa'yo, hindi ka na daw mag exist parang ganun. Ano ba yung... Oo, yan. But it's not true. Your spirit will not die. My spirit will not die. But the hope of the Christians or the believers of Jesus, those who receive Him, what is our hope? In a twinkling of an eye, we shall all be changed. 
and will be with the Lord forever. Amen? So yun po ang dalawang truth dyan. Una, there is really life beyond the grave, whether you will go to torment or you will go to paradise. Second is, walang pwedeng maglipatan. Hindi ang totoo na ipag-pray-pray ka and then lilipat ka doon sa paradise. No. Dito pa lang, you have to decide whether you believe and receive God into your life, Jesus Christ, or you will reject Him because those who reject Him, what is their destiny? Torment. In hell. Hindi po siya biro. The Bible has a lot of witnesses. A lot of, di ba dalawang witness, three witnesses lang naman. Ano na? Proven na. So are there are a lot of the, the gospel records that there will be the lake of fire, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Kaya nga si Jesus eh. Alam nyo theologically, kahit si Jesus, ang God hindi pumunta sa earth in order to redeem us, giving His life for us. Ay, He is the same God. Walang matatanggal sa Kanyang pagkasya. In His attributes, in His everything, in His character, walang, walang mawawala. And yet, because He loves us very much. John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Sabi niya, sabi naman ng, sabi na sa ano ngayon na, ni Richman, eh, isend mo na lang yung, kung ayaw mo, hindi po pwede na, eh, dip ni Lazaro yung kamay niya para ilagay dito sa dila. Kung pwede ba, isend back mo siya doon para sabihan yung five brothers ko na huwag silang pumunta dito. Ano sabi ng ano sabi ni Jesus sa kanyang parable? Moses and the prophets are there. Hindi sabi niya ipadala mo iba pag may mabuhay muli. Maniniwala sila. Ano sabi? Kahit may mabuhay muli kung ayaw talaga nila. Jesus Christ already resurrected from the dead 2000 years ago as recorded in the scripture and as recorded in the history. So the decision this morning is up for us. Amen? There is really, these are the things beyond the grave. Amen? For the believers, for, the, for the, those who receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior, there is hope. Because what? Jesus Christ is the firstborn from among the dead. He is the only hope of this world. He is the only hope beyond the grave. Amen? Jesus Christ is the only hope beyond the grave. And I pray this morning, talagang let's check your heart. Ano ang destiny mo? Because there are only two destinations. When we left this body, there is really, these are the things beyond the grave. There is life eternal beyond the grave if you acknowledge Jesus as your Lord and Savior and there is torment beyond the grave when you reject him. That is written in the scripture. Father, thank you for your word today. I pray each one of us understood this truth, O God. What the scripture says is not just, just what are the hearsay, what are this people are portraying during the time of uh, Halloween or this All Saints and All Souls Day. Lord, this is the truth of your word, that there is really destination beyond the grave. When we belong to you, then we are in paradise. When we reject you, then we'll go to hell. We'll go to torment where there will be gnashing, weeping and gnashing of teeth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the truth this, this time. I pray, O oh God, that we understand this. Even the hearers in the online, they will understand this. This is the truth, O oh God. Nothing but the truth that Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lords, is the only hope beyond the grave. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise, the glory, and honor for the life eternal. Thank you, Jesus. We love you so much. Amen. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, 
that Matthew 11, 28, Jesus Christ is inviting all who are weary and burdened to come to Him for He will give you rest. Invite Him today, saying, invite Him into your heart, saying, Lord Jesus, I invite you to be the Lord and Savior of my life. I believe that you were risen from the dead and you are alive forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless us all.